I'm Hunter and this is Parts Explained. Today we're going to be talking about O2 sensors. Most cars are going to have, a, have an oxygen sensor either in the actual exhaust manifold or further downstream depending on the sensor and the sensor technology that's being used. Because if the sensor's too close to actually the exhaust port, then that's too hot for the oxygen sensor to live. So that's why they're placed further downstream. And then you'll have an oxygen sensor typically pre-cat and post-cat, and that's giving the ECU information on the efficiency of the catalytic converter itself. There's a ton of ways an oxygen sensor can fail. I mean, simply if an oxygen sensor gets wet, that can cause it to fail. Harsh vibrations, uh, the oxygen sensor gets too hot, um, that could happen from an excessive lean mixture and the exhaust gas itself is too hot, that can burn the sensor. You know, both of these typically happen because, you know, something else going on in the vehicle. So if there's another sensor on the car that fails and that's giving the ECU the wrong information, it can cause the fueling mixture to be wrong and then eventually cause the sensor itself to fail. If you need a new O2 sensor, check out the selection at carparts.com, link below.